This, as you know, is the greatest spectacle in all winter sport. The world's best skiers and skaters have come to this remote valley with the odd-sounding name, Squaw Valley. Thousands of people arrive for the opening of the games. They come over new highways by car and by bus. The compactness of the area will enable the visitors to really see what's going on this time. The five rings, they represent the five major continents linked together in friendly competition. The flame brought all the way from the heart of a little Norwegian cottage, once the home of Sandre Norheim, who is called the father of modern skiing. Teams from 30 countries are here. Some of our group. Speeds in a men's downhill often reach 60 miles an hour. Anyone willing to climb a mountain and stand in the snow can see the race. Some spectators prefer the cold seat. This is for the bird. The combination of the skills of both hunter and cross-country skier is required in the biathlon. The exertion of skiing long distances puts the contestant before a small target with pounding heart and shaking hands. This, the first biathlon ever held in the Winter Olympics, and it may be the last, at any rate, it's been voted out of the next game. Spectators gather at the speed skating rink. Countries with colder climates have always produced the champions in this sport, but tracks like these, artificially maintained, may change the situation. Thrilling ice hockey inside the arena. This has been called the fastest game on earth. Extremely popular because of its speed and action. And the United States team is causing plenty of unexpected excitement here. They were pre-game underdogs. And now, they've upset all predictions by winning this game with the Russians. Their play earning them the first gold medal ever won by a U.S. team in hockey. And the winning performance of the undisputed queen of figure skating, lovely Carol. Another contender and champion showing his mastery of acrobatic turns and leaps. The designer of the big jumping hill at Squaw said, this is the type area we always seek but seldom find. longest jump doesn't necessarily win. Form as well as distance is scored. Victory ceremonies crown each day with pomp and pageantry. The winner stands highest, second place on his right, third the left.